Hello everyone and you're welcome. In our last lesson, we saw how we could, work, we could work with the location mode scope and we saw how we could set our scope to uh, any uh, uh, of the sections, either Asia or Africa. So uh, let's go ahead and see how we can work with a very popular uh, file format called the JSON uh, file format. Now the JSON file stands for the JavaScript object notation and it's basically an interchangeable simple file formats that can be transferred between uh, different platforms and systems. It's used for games and also for web and mobile application development. You'll see JSON file used a lot and also when we're working with uh, geographical plots and maps, uh, JSON files are also used to store information. So let's go ahead and see how we can work with uh, JSON files using uh, Python. So first of all, I'm going to use one of the uh, built-in examples here of a JSON file. So I'll just scroll down right here and I'll just copy all this, just the example, and I'll open up my notepad just like that. And I'll paste this in my notepad and I'll save it as person. So I'll save this as person.json. That's the file extension for a JSON file. And I'm going to, what I'm going to do is to go to my users and my folder name. I think users and my folder name. And I'll just save this as person.json. So I have this uh, JSON file. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump into uh, Jupyter, uh, Jupyter Notebook, and let's begin. So to start working with JSON, what we're going to do is to import JSON. So I'm just going to say import JSON, and go ahead and run that. And let's just zoom in. We can always get help on the JSON file by passing help JSON. And if we run this, it actually shows us some uh, help files. We can get information about the methods and some of the classes that exist within the JSON module. So what we're going to use is a uh, JSON loads function, which will help you read a JSON file. And a JSON dump function will write to that file. And JSON needs to be converted to Python, which is called deserialization. So we're going to import the JSON file we saved, and then we're going to see how we can open that. So I'm going to use the uh, with open. And I'm going to pass in the name of the file, which is person.json. And I'm going to pass this in a uh, read mode. So I'll use a comma and pass in the string R. And I'm going to save this as set this as an alias J. So what I'm going to do next is just to create an object. Whoops, called J underscore file. And I'm going to pass in the uh, called JSON dot load method. And what I'm going to do is just to load that file we created called J. So let's go ahead and just run this line. So this actually has that in uh, memory. So if we want to go ahead and just quickly view this file, we could just say J on this call file. And we can see we have that uh, file that's loaded right here into memory. If we want to check what kind of file this is, we could just type type. We're going to ask it to type underscore file. And this is going to be a dictionary. So initially, this is a JSON file. And when Python serializes this, this is going to be uh, seen as a dictionary. So let's go ahead and create a, uh, a file and then append information to that file and then write that information to a JSON file. Because we actually loaded a JSON file and then we actually uh, serialized it using JSON.load. And now we have a file called J underscore file which is a Python dictionary that has a key value pair, All right? So let's go ahead and see how we can do that. So let's create an object right here. Let's just say a player underscore info. And let's create this empty dictionary just like that. So we have an empty dictionary. And let's go ahead and append an array and populate that array. So let's just say player underscore info now I'm going to call this person is going to be equal to an empty list like that. So let's go ahead and append 
let's go ahead and append some players right here. So I'm just going to say player underscore info, which is our person dot append. And what I'm going to do is to just append a uh, key value pair relationship, which is a dictionary into it. So I'm going to have a key and then a value pair, another key and another value pair. Basically, I'll set three properties into this. So the third key and value pair. So I'll just use a name. And I'll set this name to anything. Let's say uh, Peter. I'll set the age. And I'll, I'm going to make this numerical. So I'll set this age to 24. And I'll set the number of wins. And also I'll make this numerical. I'll just say Peter has 200 uh, wins just like that. So if we go ahead and run this, you can see we have this uh, information. Let's go ahead and append another uh, player. So I'll just copy this information right there and I'll just drop it right so. And right now I'll just go ahead and change the name. So I'll just change this name to Paul and then set Paul's age to 27 and let's set Paul's number of wins to 400. So now I have this information, let me go ahead and write this. So uh, to write this info, I'm just gonna just, just say, uh, write our data. So I'm gonna use with open. So I'm just gonna write the uh, person dot txt, which is gonna be a text file. And the mode is gonna be uh, w, which stands for write. And I'm going to pass this as uh, an alias called F. And right now I'm going to dump this file as a JSON file. All right, so I'm just going to see JSON.dump. And I'll pass in the name of our uh, dictionary right here, this empty dictionary, player info. So I'm just going to say a player underscore info. And then we'll pass in the file to write that. So let's just run this. So that's great. So let's go ahead and see if this actually uh, wrote this information. Remember, it's going to write this information to the same location. So let's look for a file called the uh, person underscore uh, info right there. So let's just go ahead and jump right here. And here we can have it. We have a file called uh, person, right? So we can actually see we have that information and we have Peter age 24 and Paul age 27 with 400 wins, which corresponds with the same information we have right here in our uh, file. So uh, the dump, remember the dump is going to actually dump that information to a file we have and then we can use this information right here to load that JSON file. So uh, that's simply a very quick rundown of what we can do and how we can create a JSON file. In our next lesson, we're going to see how we can work with GeoJSON, which is specifically used to represent geographical uh, data. Thank you very much for watching, guys.